This is my new planted vivarium for crested geckos. Um, I just got two of them the other day, one's male, one's female. Uh, in the back here I've got a live ficus tree that I got off of uh, LLLReptile.com. And here is a uh, philodendron, whatever. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And then back there, another philodendron and then two porthos. Um, the the porthos, the tall one, that's already been it's been in there since I started building the tank, and it's already going really big. Uh, and right here is the female crested gecko. I'm not sure like what type they are. Just know they're regular crested geckos. Um, but anyway, I've got uh, I can't really see it, but I've got the hydro balls on the bottom. Uh, Eco Earth, and then uh, what is it called? Uh, this forest blend from Exoterra, it's the wood bark. Um, back here, we got a slanted log, filled it with dirt, and the ficus tree, and used another log piece to separate, put that up higher, and a core collar there, food bowl, water bowl. Uh, and some vines, which I'm eventually going to take the porthos, and one's going to be on the ground, and then the other one's going to go up top around the vines and everything. So, but uh, yeah, this is a 20-gallon uh, tall, I believe, is what it's called. So, and I do have a very low-powered UVB light up on top, just for the plants. Uh, I missed it like once or twice a day, just whatever, as long as the soil stays kind of moist. So, but I've only had them for a couple of days. Um, so far, they seem pretty good. The male likes to hide in the like crack of that thing. So and she likes to hide over here, or up on the glass, to, away from him right now. So, but yeah. So tell me what you guys think. Thanks.